So today, one of the things we'll be doing is taking these and putting them on my bike, taking my bike ones off my bike, taking Job's ones off his bike, and putting my ones on his bike, and putting his ones in the bin. I'm slinging these RockShock Yari RC Dabonese 160 mm travel onto the Specialized. It's Fox 34s on it at the moment, and I, I just don't like Fox forks, to be honest. Um, then, I'm checking some mud uggers on, because you've got to have a mud guard on the front, man. It's a lot of cat going in your eyes. And then this one, I'm going to try and cut it down, modify it, and slip it on the back end of the uh, thing. Thing of the Levo. I'm sad. Got some brake rotors, and they had to be red, of course, go on my bike. I wanted to get the um, Shimano Ice Tech ones, which I've used on all my other bikes, but I thought let's give these a go. They look funky, and I do like to pimp my uh, my ride. So when we take Job's forks off, I've had to buy this kit. This is a boost kit. So basically, the forks on my Specialized are boost hub, so it's wider, um, and the ones we're taking off are not. So this kit is just going to give us the spacer behind the um, brake rotor and all, and. Uh, Look at that, I've got memory block again. I tell you, there's something going on in my skin. I need some of this. I've stopped drinking this, see, and this, i got to keep drinking it. <sighs> oh, it's better, mate. It's better. If they are down in the 90s, man, I'd have a lot more brain cells left. So, yeah, like I said, we'll check them on, and we'll see how it goes. But they look dark in you, auto. So, if you haven't got a bike stand, man, you've got to get a bike stand, a work stand. It's just a godsend to have. Right, okay, so the lever's on here. This, this lever got a funky, it's got a swap tool. So, you just um, slide that around. So, the Allen keys come out. Boom! So, we're going to take the, the hub, the axle out. There's a little thing under there, take the rest of that out. The rest of that technical term. So, then you will just undo the nut here on the... The headset slide off forks will drop out obviously we'll take the caliper off um take the caliper off and do all that just get it disconnected and the forks will drop off 10 minutes later the forks are on can't really see them much here um no, i'm gonna be whipping these things off all oh, the best pedals in the world dmr vaults man i love them but these are job's look um andre lecondigui signatures so i whip them off he's got my black ones on his right Next job now is to undo those six bolts here, they're um, oh, T30s I think. I nearly had another memory lapse then. Anyway, so I'll work these rotors off and check them ones on. Here we go. Have a go with this, watch how quick this is to install. It's one done, and the rear, and two done. So these are, Uber bike radiate of floating rotors. So it's looking sort of back together, but with a little snag. Uh, this adapter post here, I thought it, it might not fit and it don't fit. It's rubbing. You beast! Beast out, beast! Roll for me today, managed to get a mud plugger on. I need to get a post adapter to put that on, so. That's enough of the specialised today. Let's crack on with the high bike, is it? Okay, so we're on the high bike now and we're on to fit in this adapter. So we take um, the disc rotor off. So we put the adapter on. The rotor back over the top. And then uh, hold it back up. And obviously these little adapters then. You should go each side of the axle. Oh well. Okay, the, these are what we took off. Obviously it goes with the colour scheme of the bike, but um it's uh they're one fifties, they're thirty odd real stanchions. Well they're off anyway. And um got the Fox 34s on there now. So yeah, it looks it looks alright actually. I didn't film doing it like, you know, because um, I just had enough because fucking my game fixed. So the EEB is done. Had a new mount on there, fixed that. Rotors are on, mud pluggers on. 
I modified a mud plugger on the back as well, so that should keep all the crud out of going down by the motor and the linkage is there. New rotors on there, only thing to do now is let's take it for a rip. <laughs> Video as well. Okay, we're at Kumkan. I'm gonna try and do two trails on the Eeb. That's um Turk Trail and Kafour. Nice weather. Let's hit it. Man, I've got some minions on here. Always fun that bit. So just on the Turk, just on the Turk Trail, in just over an hour. I was going to go and do uh, Kafour, but I'm absolutely shit faced to be honest. Loads of battery left as well. Loads, but the um, the forks they were awesome. And the discs, and the brakes were good. Forks, loads more grip off the fork, so. Happy days. Let me know. So I'm off to. Uh, I'm off home, and you're off to LCS. Like, comment, subscribe. Little update too. We also fitted the uh, Hope Tech Three levers with the E4 discs, and uh, took them out for a blast. Yeah, I've had them before. They're a nice bit of kit, to be honest. Should be that way, shouldn't it? Why the fuck is it gone like that? Crazy, yeah, they are nice, so another little update. The EJ's in the bay. I wonder what's coming next. <laughs>